Welcome back to Central Valley Wedding and Special Events. I'm Shara Roderick. And with all of the time that you put into planning your special day, you want to capture it. And that's where Gabriella Stefania steps in from GS Photography. Gabri Gabriella, oh my gosh, <laughs> thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having it's me. It's great to have you here. Thank you. You do such beautiful work with your photography. How did you get started with this? Well, um, it all started, I've been doing it for a while. I, um, I've i always enjoyed photography. It's always been like one of my things, like just pull out my phone or camera and capture the moment. But when I decided to make it my business, um, it started because I was diagnosed with postpartum anxiety and I just, I wanted to capture as many moments for my daughter as I can. And then I thought, well, maybe I can do this for other people too. And um, that's pretty much how it all started. And I actually started my business. <laughs> that's such an amazing story. Thank and you. I love that you've said that you pull out your phone and take photos because I feel like that's kind of where some people are starting to fall back on hiring a photographer is they think oh everyone else will just take their photos what do you think this is the significance of having a photographer there for your big day um, it's it's an amazing thing but you also have to think about one of my first things would be the quality do you want your pictures you know a lot of cameras nowadays they're not like capacitated for like the printing enlargements right it'll be lower resolution and quality as to where if you go with a photographer you get to kind of relax as well so you're not stressing about oh my gosh did they capture this moment did my guests get this you know it's more like you're just enjoying the moment and that's where you get to have better better pictures because they're like candids and you're they're, they're not planned but it, they were captured because mm -hmm. a photographer was there and you have that eye for exactly how to capture that moment and the angle to get it that other people just might not see it. Yes, I've, I've been told that. <laughs> but I mean, I think you're just born with, <laughs> you're just born with A special with sight, yeah. a photographer's sight. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and that helps you a lot um, for your, your clients to enjoy your pictures as much as you do. And we were talking a little bit that you don't just take photos of weddings. You can do the entire story um, for people, engagements, maternity. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I do um, maternity, cake smash, basically just whatever you need me to do, I, I will do it. I love doing anything and everything. So I'm not restricted to um, just, one, just one area. I love every part of it. And you travel to do these photos as well. And you were telling me before we started filming about a very beautiful maternity shoot that you just did. Could you tell us about that? Yes, I, I actually did. Um, sh she She's married to um, a horse trainer. So he works with horses and he, he just loves horses. And she wanted to do something special and have a maternity session with one of the horses, his favorite horse. Wow. Um, it was beautiful. I was just in awe the whole time. These horses are so beautiful, so trained. I was like concerned for her belly, but then I was like, I saw that the horse knew, knew her and knew like when to step down and when to walk away. It was just, it was beautiful. That sounds so special. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend a couple, if they want to hire you for their wedding, that they should also have you for their engagement session so you can start to establish that relationship? Um, I would, I would love it, but I mean, sometimes people they don't really look for that so it just depends on their budget and everything but they'll they'll see a whole lot of me I, I like to do um like a I'll do the consultation and then I'll do a pre-wedding consultation okay. so I'm trying to set up meetings before with them if possible in person so that we can develop that relationship because once you get in front of people and like you've never talked to them before it's kind of they tense up and they get shy yeah. so you don't you don't really want that because that's going to show in your pictures so when I see them a few times in a row before their actual big day, um, to me it's better. And they already feel comfortable with you. And they're comfortable with me, so we get to like joke around and you know capture those moments where they want you know other than being like super tense and spacing and not wanting to do certain shots or something like that. And when you have those meetings leading up to the wedding, do you discuss if somebody wants you there just for a specific part of the day or the entire day? Yes, um, they can choose um, from their package. It, I go from like four to 
the whole day, eight hours, whatever they're, they're needing. Um, and we talk about, I really, to me, it's very important. As a photographer, I like to get my vision out there, but I work with um, whatever my clients want. So if, let's say, one of my clients is super into like the matte pictures, you mm-hmm. know, like matte filtering and all that stuff. Well, I can do that for them. And then that's where we get to talk about um, what shots are special to them, what has to be like a must, must capture. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so we talk about a whole lot of different things and kind of a little get to know them as well as so their picture, they're not just my work. It's also something that they enjoy. And that brings up a really good point because I hadn't thought about it, but people have different priorities of what they really want to capture at their wedding. So that seems like that would be so important to express that to you yes. ahead of time. Do you find that brides often come to you with photos that they've seen from other weddings and they say, this is what I want for mine? Is Definitely. that pretty common? Definitely. They um, they get their inspiration off of either Pinterest or a friend or something. And I'm, I'd love to recreate and um, like I said, give them what they really want to have because that's my job. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the goal for the whole day, right? Yes. Make the bride and groom happy. Yes. <laughs> now, when you go to a wedding, are you a one-woman show or do you have a second shooter that comes along with you? I usually take my boyfriend with me. Okay. Um, he's my assistant. He carries all of my stuff. Well, and... that's convenient. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's amazing. What would I do without him? And he has like a little checklist because to me, I have such terrible memory. And I, he has my little checklist as to, like, all the must-have shots that I have to get. So I make sure I don't miss any that, you know, my clients requested. And just special key notes, like, don't mention this or mention this, bring this up. Or sometimes people will ask you to, like, be the one that's like, okay, we have to go take the pictures. We have to do this mm-hmm. session. They or, want you to kind of be the leader for them. Yes, or totally back up. And that's where he gets to like tell me okay look you have to tell them this or you have to tell them that so it's really much like he is like one of the key parts to me being a photographer at weddings or um i'll have a second shooter it just um depends on like sometimes beginners would like to um come on with me and they get to do their thing too that's so sweet i love that he comes along with you and you're this sounds like a great team out there yes i i I think so (laughs) what can i say (laughs) Now, you have an Instagram page. People can see your photography there. Are there other places that they can see it? Yeah, my website, um, gsphotography.com. I post um, more often on my Instagram because, you know, it's a little bit easier to just... Oh, I know. It's amazing. <laughs> upload it on there. And then I, whenever I do take my time, like once a week, I'll upload some of my new pictures onto my um, website. But I have, yeah, I have that, my website, and um, my Insta- um, Instagram and Facebook. And is it all GS photography? Yeah. Um, there is, like, a underscore okay. underscore for Instagram. But, yeah, gsphotography.com, double Y, and um, Facebook as well. Now, we were talking a little bit about people having their priorities of what they want captured. Is there a specific moment that you always look for at a wedding that you want to capture for that bride and groom yes my favorite is always the first look like Mm. where the groom sees the bride coming down the aisle that's my favorite because to me it's like you can just feel their love um i love it when grooms get so teary-eyed and emotional where they start crying or it's just beautiful and and i know the brides love getting those pictures too because they're you know who doesn't like seeing their man so in love with them yes and excited to spend the rest of their life with them that's amazing well thank you so much for joining me today and telling us about your beautiful work it was great to have you you here thank you for having me